Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can perform OSINT on the dark web. Do you know how to set up your own lab to access the dark web? If not, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Now, let's explore how open source data can be collected from the dark web. I am currently on a Windows 10 virtual machine using Proton VPN and the Tor browser. DuckDuckGo is the default search engine on Tor browser. This is the regular version of the website. There is a padlock symbol in the address bar. There is also a dark web version of this search engine. Notice how the URL has some random alphanumeric characters, followed by the domain name .onion. There is an onion symbol in the address bar. I have performed a search using the keyword OSINT. Notice how the search results lead to pages on the surface web. All website names on the dark web have a specific sequence of alphanumeric characters that is difficult to remember. To access websites and search engines on the dark web, you can access website directories like the hidden wiki. Here, you can find links to websites on the dark web across various categories. Onion Links is another website presenting a catalog of websites on the dark web. These directories are updated regularly with the latest links. It is recommended to visit validated websites on the dark web. Are you wondering how I obtained the link to the hidden wiki in the first place? You can find it by performing a quick Google search for the latest link. You can perform the search on a regular browser or the Tor browser. But you can visit the website with the Onion domain name only over Tor. Torch is a search engine for the dark web. I have made a search for the term cryptocurrency. You can observe results from various pages on the dark web. Haystack is another search engine for the dark web. Here, I have performed a search for the term at gmail.com. You can find search results with the search term highlighted. I have performed another search for hacker tools. Just Another Library is a huge repository of books, images, and videos on the dark web. Here, I have performed a search for Python programming. Marxist's Internet Archive is a website dedicated to content on Marxism on the dark web. It is quite common to find websites curated on a specific topic. You can utilize them to investigate targets as seen fit. RelateList is used to find intelligence about companies and their employees on the dark web. I have performed a search for Nestle. You can find a list of email addresses used by employees at Nestle. However, the information is redacted. A registration on this website is required to access the extra features. I would encourage you to set up anonymous accounts that cannot be linked back to you. For registration purposes, if you are required to provide your email address, then set up an email account with a provider emphasizing on privacy. Stronghold Paste is like paste bin on the dark web. It is possible to find leaked data posted on this website. I have performed a search using the keyword computer. Here, you can view the username and the timestamp at which the post was made. When performing OSINT on the surface web, if you have identified usernames specific to your target, see if you can spot the same username in websites like this one. That could help link dark web activity back to your target. It is also possible to find websites belonging to news organizations on the dark web. These websites have surface web and dark web versions. ProPublica is one such example. BBC is another. The dark web versions typically contain news from a global point of view, whereas the surface web versions contain news specific to the region the website is being hosted in. The DEFCON website also maintains a dark web version. 
Additionally, social media websites like Facebook also have a dark web version. If you are investigating a target present in a country that has banned or limited access to social media websites like Facebook, it is still possible for the target to access Facebook on the dark web. Ensure that you thoroughly investigate a target's social media presence. Darknet Live contains latest news about activity on the dark web. You can search for posts based on a specific tag. You can also find links to markets on the dark web. There is also a directory of websites on the dark web. On the surface web, to view older archived versions of websites, we would use the Wayback Machine. On the dark web, we will use archive.today. Here, you can simply paste the URL of the site you want to view the archived page for. Let us view the archived version of this page. There is one result. Based on the information you require about a target, you can use the various search engines and repositories on the dark web to gather data. However, the dark web is a dangerous place. You will be exposed to sensitive and explicit material, alongside harmless content. We have another video highlighting some tips to remember while visiting the dark web. You can find the link to it in the description box below. I hope you have a good idea now about how to set up your own lab and gather open source intelligence from the dark web. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!